All right, so we're a week into the March update here, and I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I thought I was gonna have to wait till Jumpstart until I make a video talking about why it's a good time to start playing Lost Ark. But it turns out now is a really great time, so I'm gonna explain a little bit why it's a good time and just a little couple pieces of advice. Before getting into that, I wanna give a quick explanation on how Lost Ark progression works. There is vertical and horizontal types of progression. Vertical is your more standard type of progression. This is the one that most people are going to be used to. You get your gear, you upgrade it, and this is how you get into content. Horizontal content and progress is very different. It is non-linear. A lot of this is going to be tied to things like your adventure tome and collectibles. There's also the codex where you can track skill points. And beyond those skill points, you're going to be getting things like runes and stat potions. And these things will greatly contribute to your character's power. And one little note I want to say is that vertical progress is character bound since it is their armor. While horizontal progress is actually roster bound. Now your roster is all the characters on a server together. So let's talk about these limited time events. This is going to be a very bridge version of this, but there is going to be a reason why and I'll explain that later. For context, Ivory Tower is the current end game right now. That is item level 1600 for normal mode and 1620 for hard mode. The upcoming raid, they mind, that is going to be 1610 normal mode and 1630 hard mode. So the first event is going to be the Elgatia Power Pass. When you log into a character, this power pass is going to be in your mail. You use it and then you can apply it to a character at the character select screen. This will boost you to 1460 and through a lot of content. Now, when you do this, you will be presented with a prologue and a series of tutorial missions. If this is your first character and first time, I would definitely suggest doing those. You'll have gear mount and some items there in your inventory. Otherwise that you do some purple quests that are around you and that will kind of get you started. 1460 is also the start of the Super Mokoko event, which you can apply to a single character. So the character that you would assign this to will get honing milestones, which is your item level upgrades, all the way up to 1580. It also gives you access to the engraving support, which is one of the power systems in this game that allows you just to make things a little bit easier for starting off. You get a lot of materials and other important things like card packs when you do this event. And then at 1580, this is when you start getting access to two more events. We have Road of the Breaker and the honing support event. Road of the Breaker is similar in the sense that it gives you a lot of materials but it also gives you additional rewards from raids that are going to give you items that are going to upgrade your gear set or going to give you brand new gear sets. And then once you get your gear from the 1580 raid Akan, once you get that gear and start upgrading it, that's when you start getting progress towards your honing support event. These are designed to assist you all the way up to 1619, which means your final hone up to 1620. And then there are some non-level specific ones that all your roster can have access to together, which is the Arc Pass, the Grand Prix Shop, and also the Golden Frog. All these are going to have a lot of materials that are going to help you progress through. So there are a few things I want you to keep in mind doing this. This is speed running, fast tracking you through two years of content basically. This game has a ton to learn because it's a lot of systems layered over one another. But after you power pass, there's a few things you should do before you get your item level way too high. The first thing is hitting J and going to guide quest. These are the closest things we have to tutorials in Lost Ark, and these are going to teach you various systems and also some really important things that you're going to want, like setting up your stronghold. So priority one would be to clear out this entire quest log of purple things. And generally moving forward, purple quests are going to be important quests. And the other thing I suggest is the Makoko challenge. This is an event that lasts for a few months after you create your account, or it goes away if somebody on your roster hits 1540. There is a ton of useful things in there like cards and silver and a lot of items in there. And I really suggest trying to wipe that out as much as you can before you hit 1540. So it's going to be a little hard getting into the game and knowing what you're supposed to do. Those purple quests are going to be your main leading guide to get you through content. But if you hit Alt Q, this is where you're going to see a lot of your daily and weekly content. As a new player, the most important one you're going to want to do is Chaos Dungeon. You can do two a day and this is going to be the most rewarding thing that you can do for the time. Other daily events like Una's task and Guardian Raids are also very important to start doing. One Guardian Raid a day and three Una tasks. And you probably have questions about that. You probably have questions about honings, engravings, and all these other systems. As much as I'd love to explain all these things to you, this video would actually be like an hour long and then some. And on top of that, for most people, including me, it would actually be really hard to retain like that much information thrown out to you at once in a video. So this is where I really want to direct you to a site called Lost Ark Nexus, which is lostark.nexus. Myself and the majority of the Lost Ark community considers this to be the best and the number one resource to go to. It is community driven, community managed, and it has information for pretty much most things that you would ever need a question for in Lost Ark. And that does include the contents of this video that I talked to you about already, which can be found in the quick start guide. 
Now, while you think a quick start might be a little, little small, it is 74 pages. But to give context, all the stuff I talked about with the Makoko challenge and all these events, while that stuff is in the doc, that stuff is the first 10 pages. And they give you a lot more detail than I would in the video because again, my video would be too long if I were to explain it in that much detail. From there on, they cover a lot of very important topics like inventory management, the adventure tome, which is also related to your horizontal content as we mentioned earlier. They talk about power systems like the engravings, like honing process. They talk about the raids and also settings that they suggest to you do as well. All of this is very important information, something that you're not going to find together in one place anywhere else. Like even I have my Lost Ark Primer series videos, which does cover a lot of these topics, but I don't really have anything that covers the actual process like I covered in this video and also in this guide. Since these are more time sensitive kind of documentation because these events aren't going to be here forever. Now the Arcasia Tour, if you're a veteran player or you know anything about Lost Ark, this is probably the most exciting one of the events. And this one doesn't look to be a time sensitive event. Hopefully this stays around for all new players. This is the first event or anything to really assist players when it comes to horizontal content. I don't want to like overstate it, but I think this will actually save you like hundreds of hours. There is a lot of horizontal content and this will just zoom you through a lot of it with the greatest of ease. So when you open it up, there will be four levels and there's going to be three emissions in the bottom left for each level. There are three buttons on each one for guide location and also if there's a quest tied to it. And those will help direct you towards doing them. Once you do those three for that level, you're going to get everything over there on the right side. You're going to want to do this for all levels. And also, this is absolutely going to obliterate your inventory. So hopefully you did by now go through the Lost Art Nexus guide there and do the inventory management section. Roughly gauging, this is going to give you about 70% of your horizontal progress done. There will be some skill points you got to get and some also adventure home things you want to get to get the legendary runes. So once you decide on your class, you're going to want to look at the guide and see what runes they use. And then you're going to want to focus target those runes, which is one of the few things you won't see directly hosted in the Lost Ark Nexus. However, Maxwell does have this skill rune guide that you can look to see how you get each one of these runes. So you might be thinking that this might be a little overwhelming. This is a lot of info dumping, and I do agree. There is a lot of things to learn. You do not have to use these events right away. If you want to take things a bit slower and learn things at a more natural pace, you can just make a character and go through story at whatever pace you feel like. It is perfectly fine. And you could do this also at the same time as you're doing the other events. Maybe you just want to play two characters, have one where you're doing the events, you're doing all your daily content, working a little bit on the Makoko challenge. And then once you drop that, you go on to your fresh character and just go through the story for a little while. As gamers, we tend to want to bum rush it to another game because, well, we're gamers. We just, we just want to be there. We're, we're very needy these days. But recently, there's been a player known as Revel. He's also a content creator and a streamer. The veteran Lost Ark community and the streamer community have all been very interested in his story and playing the game and his progress. This is because he took the more natural approach and enjoying the game on the way. The community absolutely loved watching him progress through Vault and Vicus. These are two raids that you'll basically be skipping when you do the power pass. If you want to learn about his journey, he does have a 40 minute video about the new player experience from his perspective and his recommendations. I will link that below. It's a great watch, and if I had any case to make for not power passing and just abusing the events right away, that would be it. But also, these are really great events, so at least use them on and all. Don't let it go to waste. Because something I didn't mention is this game does kind of push you towards having a lot of characters. You have six characters that you can earn gold on per week, from raids that is. But there is a common misconception on all this. There is definitely a cutoff point on these characters. You don't want to really just push them all to end game unless you really want to play that way. But the thing is, like any other topic, I could go on about this for another 10 minutes and still feel like I have more information to tell you. So I'm going to say this. Alts are not required. They do help you out to some degree, but there is also a point where if you push them too hard, they can be detrimental. I do have a video related to alts, but it is a little outdated since the item level that we are at has currently increased. So maybe I'll cover that again in the future. There is also one more thing I really want to show off when it comes to the Nexus docs. That is the class advice. This gives a super quick TLDR on the classes and their engravings and their play style and if they would recommend them or not. For the most part, I do agree with the difficulties that they place on these classes. At a glance, the only two major differences I could see is that I would put Energy Overflow, Sophist, and Emperor Arcana in the red. These can be pretty rough classes for not only new players, but also veteran players, if I'm being honest. That being said, maybe you watched a video, you watched a fight, you saw the trailer for the class, or you just saw the red descriptions on it, and you thought, hey, this class looks sick, it looks cool. No matter what color the doc says or whatever people say, if you think the class is cool and you want to play it, 
100% just play it. You're going to get better. And if you really do enjoy the class, you're going to get better even faster, in my opinion. When you force yourself to play a class that you don't like because it's perceived as good, chances are you're not going to get better as fast because you're just not enjoying yourself. You're just kind of seeing it as a chore or something you just want to get done. All classes in this game are viable. And I know a lot of people are probably tempted to be like, hey, what class should I play? And then they just Google in or search up Lost Ark tier list. This game has a lot of commitment to your characters, a lot of RNG and like 10 different power systems. There is very limited content where things are equalized, meaning it's a fair fight. And even when you think it's a fair fight, there's probably a, not a fair fight because there's going to be support difference and synergy difference. I enjoy tier lists. I think they're great and entertaining content, but I do not suggest following a tier list. If you pick the eternal top one of the game, which is Surge Deathblade, you're not going to instantly be great at the game because class diff. So please research some classes because again, these are quite a commitment. So the last note I want to make and also the, the final nexus glazing here which on there you can find the links to the community discord and also the LFG discord. The community discord is the biggest discord for Lost Ark and you're going to find a lot of useful information on there. It's a really great place to go to. LFG discord, you know, looking for group is a great place to you to go to if you want to try to find learning runs and also try to find people who are maybe in a similar space as you, maybe have similar time zones to you and you can actually make some friends trying to play the game together. It is going to be the best place to go for learning runs. Yes, there are going to be some streamers also that do run learning runs, but usually they advertise on LFG to my knowledge. With all that being said, I hope this helps you understand why these events are so good and also points you in the right direction for starting off Lost Ark. So while the game itself might be a little bit lackluster in teaching everything that you need to know, there are a ton of resources out there for you to look at. There will be a lot of links in the description. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. But also, if you're a new player, come back to this video in like three or four months and let me know how this event and all this stuff went for you. I'm genuinely curious and I would love to see a little insight on new player experiences and their story.